You don't want your customers to forget about you. That's why you should be sending email campaigns. Today's video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to set up an email campaign in your email marketing software. That way you never have a customer forget about you. Hey there, my name's Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. I'm your automation expert. Let's get you set up so you always remind your leads, your visitors, and even your customers about you. We don't want them to forget about you. I recently talked to somebody that said that they had a new customer that signed up with them three years ago. Three years later, they went to somebody else because they forgot about them. They weren't sending any type of emails. So let's walk through it. And if you stick with me till the end, I'll give you this full guide that you can simply copy and paste into your email marketing software. So what we want to do first is we need to look at what platform you're going to use. And my favorite platform is MailerLite. Now, whether you're using MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, Constant Contact, they all end up being pretty similar. But my favorite is MailerLite because they have a ton of templates that you can use. It's really straightforward and easy, especially if you're busy running your business. So how it works here is once you log in, you're going to look for campaigns. Now, once you're in campaigns, if you have a new account, it's going to be blank just like this. But if you've already set up an account before, you'll probably have some old ones there. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and hit create. Now they give you different options. Which options should you choose? And what we want to think about, we want to show empathy for your customers. What do they prefer? Think of it as you're, you are your customer and you're getting an email from your business. Is it going to be something you'd read? Would you take the time to read it? Is it something that's helpful or is it always a promotion? And that's what you want to think about when you're sending these campaigns. I prefer giving education and value, keeping it short and to the point. When you're making emails, the email isn't supposed to include everything all in there. Your email is a preview, like a test, a little snippet for them to go to your website and read your blog, go to your YouTube video, watch a video, or just go somewhere else. A lot of people aren't going to sit down and take the time to read a whole email, so you want to keep it short and to the point. One of the most valuable lessons I've heard is emails that are no more than 250 words long get the best open and click rates. That's really important. So once we're here, we want to choose. I personally like just sending a regular campaign, especially if this is a newsletter style email. Now, if you have questions about automated emails, I made a video last week about it that you can go back and check. So what we want to do is go through and name it. So I'm just going to call it test. This is for your purposes only. Then you want to give it a good subject line. So here is an email you should open. And this is something that should catch their attention. Now I do like adding a name and a business name here. So I crapped all my emails like this. Not everyone remembers my business name. Not everyone remembers my name. So let's give them both. Preheader text is kind of like a sample. Like usually when somebody sees an email, it'll say, hey name, this is what my email's about. But you can actually trick them a little bit and tell them what the email is about. This email is important. You can do something like that. So that way you can control what they first see before they actually open the email. I coach this with my coaching clients a lot is make this really unique because that will increase the open rates. And you can see it right here, they give you a nice preview. All right, next we wanna get into the content. Now, before I dive into the content, I wanna explain that there's two ways to send emails. There's a plain text way where it's like you're sending it from your Gmail or Outlook, where it looks really personal. You keep it short and to the point. And then there's a newsletter way. That's where you add images, links, buttons, make it look cool. I always prefer and recommend doing a plain text email. You're going to always land in the inbox. You're going to get, it's going to get open probably two times more than a newsletter email. It's going to be more personal and it's easier for somebody to read. So if I get a personal email from you, I'm more likely to open it, reply to you and click on a link. But if I get a newsletter, I'm just going to ignore it most times. Now, it's totally up to you. I think at the beginning of sending your emails that you need to send personal emails. And then you can go into like a monthly newsletter style. But what is the point of email? The point of the email is to have them open it and have them click on something. Really, you, emails are not to share your entire story and your whole message. So think about that for your business. All right, next is when you get here, you're going to have those different options. Now, if you want to send a plain text email, it's going to look just like this. And this is where you can send that plain text like you'd be sending it from your Gmail. Then there's an option here where they actually have pre-selected templates that you can choose from. So a couple different options here. So let's start with the rich text editor. Once we start here, we're going to see that 
It's super easy to see this layout, but the main thing and the very first thing we want to do is make it full width and align it left. Now, if we do limited, that's going to be centered and that's going to look like a newsletter email again. So let's make it look as similar to a plain text email that you would send to your clients. From there, you can mess around with the font, the headings, the button colors, and all of that. You always need to make sure that you have your address in there and you can feel free to just start editing and you'll see this edit box pop up here. So super simple and easy to use. Once you're done, I always recommend saving it as a template so you can always go back and use this again and you don't have to remake it and just change the content. And then always send yourself a test email. Make sure those links work. Make sure it looks good on your end. Check it from your phone, check it from your desktop. That will get you the best results. All right, the next one I wanna cover with you is the drag and drop editor. This is where you can choose multiple different templates that they have. This is when you're gonna be sending more of those newsletter style emails where you can you know, show promotions, coupon codes, even things like abandoned carts. That's one cool thing about MailerLite is they connect with your store so you can automatically send abandoned carts and it'll pre-fill what product they were looking at right in this image here. Now you'll be able to see here that you can have change your layouts to a couple different layouts here. Um, you can change all of your text links and all that information. You can click on settings, add your logo at the top, change the colors of your brand. You can even change the menu items and add links kind of like you would for your website. And you can even add your social media links that go down in the footer. From there, these are your blocks on the left. So you can see when you hover over them, they give you multiple options of blocks that you can simply just drag and drop right into your email. And then what's cool is you can move these up and down. So let's say you want that a little lower and you want to keep the same design. You can just move them up and down. You can change the alt text, the image, replace the image. You can align it left and right, and you can even go and edit. Now, when you click on things like this, you're going to see that you can go ahead and edit your text right here with their simple text editor. And then make sure your buttons, you know, make sure that you have the right link in there and that it's pointed in the right place. Now, if you want to change the color of your button, you're actually going to go over here and you're going to see button. And that's where you can go ahead and change the button style, the links and the colors. You can't technically change it here. So feel free to all, add all of that, look through all those blocks on the left. And from there, same thing, save it as a template. That way you can reuse it. You don't have to make a brand new one every single time. Pre send yourself a test email. And from there, you just want to start thinking about what your customers prefer the most. What would you prefer the most? Do you want a weekly newsletter? Do you want a monthly newsletter? Usually I recommend once a month newsletter just to stay in touch, stay top of mind so they don't forget about you. Because a lot of times people will find your business and they might not sign up and work with you right away. But the more you email them and stay in touch when they are ready, they'll come back and buy. So if you're new to my channel, it'd be awesome if you subscribe, left me a comment new so I can give you this free resource where I break this down in a full guide for you. You'll find that in the first comment below. Go ahead and use that, copy and paste it and start sending out campaigns and email newsletters to your audience. And of course, let me know if you need any help. This is what we do. We set up emails, email automation and email newsletters for businesses just like yours. Thank you for, again for watching and I hope you have a great day.